All right. Well, good evening, everybody. And uh, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us here today. We really appreciate you coming to learn a little bit about Hilton. Uh, my name is John Summer. I'm the Regional Director of Human Resources. Uh, I support uh, about 30 of our hotels on the West Coast, including uh, the state of uh, Hawaii, Washington, Oregon, uh, Utah, and Northern California. Uh, I've been with Hilton, uh, well, longer than you've been alive. Uh, for a very long time. I am a Coug though, so it's always great to come back onto uh, the campus here at WSU and talk to, uh, talk to our students about, uh, about a potential career with Hilton. Um, I started uh, as a management trainee when I left uh, WSU, and I went down to Southern California, trained at the uh, Hilton Anaheim, and did our uh, management training program at the Hilton Anaheim, where I actually met Dean uh, at that time. Uh, from there, I uh, moved up to our corporate office in Beverly Hills. Uh, it was located in Beverly Hills at the time and worked as a college recruiter uh, for, for our, uh, all of our hotels at that time. And then moved to Orlando as an assistant director of HR. Then I uh, was there for, I don't know, a year and a half, two years before I was offered a director's position down in Miami. So I went to Miami in my first director's role, uh, director of HR, then moved to Atlanta. Washington, D.C., um, Reno, Nevada. That was back when Hilton was involved in the gaming industry. So I tried my hand on our gaming side. Back then, that was where we made all of our money. So it was kind of an interesting part of our business to be associated with. And then we spun off our gaming business, and I wanted to stay on the hotel side. So I moved back to the Hilton Anaheim as the director of HR down there, uh, and then had the opportunity to take on this regional role a number of years ago and have been uh, serving in this role uh, since then, so that's kind of a quick uh, snapshot of my, uh, my career with, uh, with Hilton. Uh, but as you can tell, it's the only company I've worked for. It's the only company I know. Uh, people say, ask why, why have you worked with Hilton for 31 years? And it's because they've never given me a reason to leave, right? So uh, uh, it's been a, been a real fun ride and it's, it's still a very exciting time at Hilton right now and I wake up every morning looking forward to go to work. So. Uh, that's my quick background. I'll turn it over to Dean real quick and let him uh, introduce himself. Thanks. I, uh, I, like John said, I started at the Hilton Anaheim, which is a big 1,600-room property. It has two 30,000-square-foot ballrooms, and I started there uh, directly in, uh, in what we called convention services in those days, but catering and events these days. And uh, I thought every hotel had 1,600 rooms and two 30,000-square-foot ballrooms, and I found out quickly that they didn't, that that was a, a, big, a big place. But I uh, started in event services, realized that I was killing myself, getting up really early in the morning, checking on all the room sets, checking to make sure all the catering and AV and everything was set up like it was supposed to. And I watched the salespeople, and they were going to lunch with customers every day. And I thought, that looks like a pretty good deal. So I uh, trained and moved into, uh, into sales, and I moved up to the Beverly Hilton and worked at the Beverly Hilton for about six years, <clears throat> which was a lot of fun, and left there the last three years as the director of sales. I then went into Hilton uh, Worldwide Sales. We called it Hilton National Sales in those days and represented all of our properties to accounts that were based in Southern California. And uh, after doing that, moved back into, uh, into hotels and uh, worked as the director of sales in Portland. Decided I wanted to go into operations. Was uh, very fortunate to get the uh, opportunity to move into a general manager role in a smaller property and then parlayed that into another general manager role. And then I went back down to Santa Barbara and uh, worked uh, across the street from the beach in Santa Barbara, beautiful place to, to live down there, and then moved into a couple of different corporate roles. So I, uh, I did a brand job and then a sales, another sales job and decided that I missed operations and missed being with our, our team and moved back on property. So I've been at the Hilton, or the Doubletree rather, in uh, Spokane for the last couple of years, but I actually was working there previously in, uh, in the early 2000s. So operations is awesome, sales is awesome, John will tell you HR is awesome, the good thing about a career with Hilton is, is you can do pretty much anything. You can be in engineering, you can be in, in, in uh, revenue management, you can be in sales, human resources, finance, a lot of different options. But uh, really a fun company to work for. And like John, there's no reason to leave. I mean, you can move. Both of us have moved all over the country. I've had opportunities to literally travel all over the world. I've traveled to Dubai. I've traveled to China. I've been to Europe a ton of times on, on, uh, in corporate roles. A lot of opportunity and a good opportunity to work with different people from all over the, uh, the country as well. So we all you know, cross paths and it's amazing when you look at LinkedIn or at any of these other uh, social media things, you make connections with people and they sometimes turn up. I was doing a presentation to owners in our McLean corporate office a couple of years ago and a guy that I'd worked with, he was actually a Cougar grad, uh, 
he was uh, he was working for the the ownership company, and they were looking at having Hilton come in and uh, and brand one of their properties. So you just keep crossing paths with people. So unlike John, I didn't go to school here, but I do have a daughter that goes to school here. So go Cougs! Thanks, Dean. I also brought with us uh, today uh, three gentlemen that are. Uh, actually in our management training program, which most of you are probably here to learn about, or at least one of the avenues that you are here to uh, learn about. Mm. So I'm gonna, and they're not Cougs, but we invited them anyway. <laughs> uh, but if you guys would please uh, introduce yourselves and uh, give them a little bit of about your experience, if you would. Sure. Let's try that again. My name is Connor. I work at the uh, Hilton Doubletree Seattle Airport Complex as a sales and marketing manager in development. Uh, Trevor and I actually went to San Diego State University together. I started at Hilton when I was a freshman in college as a busser, because that's the only experience I actually had. Uh, worked my way up slowly, worked for Weston for a small little stint, then went back to Hilton because they were just better. Um, but it's a great company, like they echoed, um, there is no reason to leave. Now is probably the best time ever to be with Hilton. They have so many resources ready for you, not just at work, but for your family, pay time off, I mean everything, it's just, it's pretty good time to be with Hilton right now. Hello, I'm Trevor. Um, as Connor had mentioned, I went to San Diego State. Thanks for having us. We're gonna beat you in football this year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing uh, my MDP program at, again, the Doubletree in the Hilton Seattle Airport. I'm in revenue management because I like to stare at computer screens and do puzzles. Um, it's been a really great experience thus far. So I'd never worked for Hilton before. Um, I'd worked for, in college in San Diego, I'd worked for a small boutique hotel in the Hard Rock Hotel down there. Um, so I didn't think I was gonna go work for like a large uh, corporate, hospitality company, but after this information session when they held this about a year ago on San Diego State's campus and I got to talk to people, I really learned how great the program is and how it really sets you up for a, a really bright future. So um, if you guys have any questions, we'll stick around a little bit afterwards. Um, you might be at the bar later too, so if you wanna ask us questions, <laughs> you let us know. Uh, my name is Carson Jones. I went to Millican University, it's in Illinois. Uh, I've done two property internships with Hilton uh, down at Hilton La Jolla Torrey Pines and then up in the Drake in Chicago. I'm currently the front office MDP for the Hilton Seattle Airport Conference Center. Uh, so right next to these gentlemen, uh, but as these two have said, Hilton's a great company to work for. Uh, really can't imagine another company right now. If you want to travel anywhere in the world, it's easy to do. Plus, you know, cookies from the double tree. <laughs> That's about it. Great, thanks gentlemen, I appreciate that very much. And and uh, Carson did mention the cookies, so please don't don't leave without grabbing a cookie, because otherwise I'm taking them all home and giving them to my kids, and uh, that's too much chocolate for them to have. So, so you know now who we are. Quick show of hands. Uh, how many freshmen are here? I know we had a couple. So, all right, good. And how many sophomores? None. Juniors. And then the rest are seniors. All right. Very good. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it very much. So we're going to run through and give you a quick little overview of our company so that you get a sense of who we are, our culture, uh, the type of offerings that we have for you in regards to future employment uh, opportunities. Um, but most importantly, we want to leave time at the end for you to ask any questions that you have of any of us about, about our company. Okay. So with that, Dean, I think I'm going to turn it over to you for a little Great. bit. Great. Thanks, John. And feel free to interrupt if you have questions. Um, you know, Go ahead. We want this to be really interactive. This is not, I mean, I could go on probably for a day and a half talking about Hilton and great stories and fun times and, and all of that, but uh, we want it to be interactive so we answer the questions that you have and you learn more about Hilton. So this is our vision, mission, and values. And this is really important to our company. Does anybody want to read our vision? Can anybody read that uh, from where you're sitting? Maybe you want somebody? Exactly. Now, can anybody guess where that came from originally? Our founder, Conrad Hilton, said that. It was amended a little bit uh, recently, a couple of years ago. But uh, our, uh, our founder, Conrad Hilton, said that he was the one who started the company, grew the company, and, uh, and took it to the, to the level that it was at. And it keeps, it keeps growing from there. But uh, really, the um, delivering exceptional experiences, every hotel, every guest, every time, was added to it. But it's key part of our, uh, of our vision. And then our mission. Anybody want to read our mission? Exactly. So those are, uh, that's a 
critical part of what we do on property every day, and each of our different brands has a way of bringing that to life. And then our, uh, our values, anybody want to read the values real quickly? And I'm gonna... Yes. Exactly. So what word do you see in all three of these? Hospitality, exactly. We are a hospitality company, and we always uh, talk about the difference between hospitality and service. Can anybody tell me what they, they think? There's not a right or wrong answer, but uh, making a distinction between hospitality and service? Yeah? Uh-huh. All right. Nice. nice. Yes. <laughs> that uh, good. You get two right. cookies today you when you get, leave. Okay. Uh, it is. It uh, the service, uh, the hospitality really is how we make our guests feel, and it's the emotion that goes into uh, into it. It's not just the uh, the technical execution of you know serving a meal or checking somebody in or or cleaning a room, but it's the hospitality part of it. It's taking it really to a, a personal level. So. That's exactly right. And we use those, uh, those values, hospitality, integrity, leadership, uh, teamwork, ownership, and now. And now just means acting with urgency. It means acting with purpose and acting with, uh, with urgency for both our guests and for our team members. So very important. Hilton, as a company, has grown both organically and through acquisition over the years. Conrad Hilton started it, and there was no difference between the company of Hilton and the brand of Hilton. It was just one thing. It was his last name. But now today we have almost 5,000 rooms. I think it's a little over 5,000 rooms, to be honest, and 14 different brands. And each of those different brands occupies a different position. So it's got a slightly different value proposition for our guests. Is anybody? Can anybody? Is anybody stayed in any of the brands, the Hilton brands, personally? Yes. Which ones? All of them. All right. Good. All right. Good. Good. Any uh, any feedback? We've got some brand, some very new brands, and we've got some, of course. Uh, legacy older brands, Hilton of course being the original brand. I work for Doubletree brand. Anybody have any experience with any of the brands? Any any feedback, anything that you like or uh, that you thought was interesting about the brand? Oh, they kill me. I've competed against Embassy Suites even though they're part of the family. They have three three pillars. What are their three pillars? Every room is a two-room suite, cook to order breakfast every day, and manager hosted cocktail reception every night. Hard to compete against that. It's a great product. They do really well. Any other any other uh, brands that you have experience with? Oh, good, good. That's yeah. Hilton is of course you know the, that's the namesake. That's the legend. They got to live up. They got a lot to live up to. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, good. Go Hilton Anaheim, all right, <laughs> good. So it is, um, as, as a company, we've got these different brands because people wanna buy different hotels for different occasions. Some people are attending big meetings, you need a big hotel that's got meeting space, that's typically gonna be a Hilton or it might be a Doubletree. Then you've got some of the more uh, boutique style brands like Canopy, uh, which is, is, uh, is a, a smaller footprint hotel. Our luxury brands, Waldorf and Conrad, our new cutting edge true brand, which is just launched, and uh, those are going to be smaller, um, more. I was going to say millennial focused, but they're uh, they're they're really cool, very functional hotels. Um, you're not going to find a lot of uh, room service and Bellman and those types of places. And then uh, brands like Hampton. Hampton's probably one of our most successful brands because it's uh, it's uh, they they they're everywhere. There are tons of them. What we're talking about mostly here are work, is working for the management company of Hilton, which is, is who we all are. And uh, you're going to see that we manage most of these brands. We don't necessarily manage all the brands, but we do manage luxury. We manage full service. We don't manage as much in, this, in the focus service space, but we do manage some of the focus service hotels. And then I want to touch a little bit about the, the, the spinoff of our owned assets. Hilton, the company that we work for, is a management company and a, and a branding company. So. We do both those things. What we've gotten out of is the real estate ownership business. And most of the big hotel, the brands that you know, uh, don't own much real estate. What we did is we took all the real estate that we owned and we spun it off into its own company called Park Hotels and Resorts. So it's a publicly traded company. Right now, everything that they own is a Hilton branded property. And actually, the property that I 
manage up in, uh, in Spokane is part of that park portfolio, as well as the Hilton Hawaiian Village, San Francisco, the properties that these guys work at over at, uh, over at SeaTac um, are all part of that. So the ownership of a hotel is different than the flag that's on the building, which is oftentimes different than the management company that's actually running it. But we run and brand hotels. That's, that's the business we're in. Great business to be in and you know, great opportunity. So let's go to the next. This talks a little bit about our culture. We talk about travel with purpose, creating opportunities, strengthening our communities, and preserving our environments. As a company, we really want it to be an awesome place for people to work. We want to be an awesome corporate citizen in the communities that we're in. And we want it to be a great place for our guests and for us to do things that people really believe in. We don't want it just to be a place for people to sleep and to, and to get a good meal, although we do want that. We also want it to be a place where people know that we treat our team members well, we treat our guests well, and we're a good partner in the community. And I can just give an example. The, uh, the hotel that I manage, we're involved in three different organizations. We're involved with the YWCA. Uh, we're going to be going to a women's shelter uh, next week, I guess. And uh, we do, we, you know, we serve meals, we partner, we donate things, uh, we get involved in that. So the YWCA is one of our um, featured partners in the community. The, uh, um, the uh, Humane Society is another one, and we participate in the Parade of Paws. So for our team members, they don't have to, they can pick from a variety of different things to get involved in. And then we're also a partner with the Centennial Trail, which is a, a more of an outdoor, and it's the, it extends, if you haven't been up to Spokane, but from, uh, from west of Spokane all the way through Spokane and all the way out to Coeur d'Alene. So we support that, and we do trail cleanups, and we do a lot of outdoor things. So we want to be very involved in our, uh, in our community, and uh, we get all of our team members to volunteer and, uh, and participate in that. So let's talk about the Hilton Honors Program. This is your first homework assignment. It doesn't matter whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, there are no sophomores here, but sign up for Hilton Honors because you will then be exposed to all of the marketing and click all the boxes for everything. Because you saw that cool picture at the beginning, Bora Bora, you, know, you could earn some points and maybe go on a trip there. But this is a great way to learn about the company and to learn about the marketing that's going on for Hilton. It'll also allow you to earn points and uh, eventually uh, um, you know, possibly stay at one of the properties. And uh, this is a really good way for, uh, for you to get to know the, the hotel or the, the, the company and, uh, and the, the loyalty program that we have. The uh, Hilton Honors Program, free to join. Just go to honors.com. Sign up, and that's your first homework assignment of the evening. <laughs> so, John, you want to take over? Sure, thanks, Dean. This quick slide just gives you a little idea as to different ways that you can become engaged with our company. So, uh, we're here on campus a uh, uh, couple times a year. All right, I come over for meetings outside of, uh, outside of recruiting activities, but we come over for the company preview, and then we'll be back in, excuse me, back in two weeks for interviews. Um, so, but we start talking to students, right? We have the, we have the freshmen in the room. We, we want to let you know that there's opportunities for you now, right, to get engaged with Hilton uh, to pursue your career in the hospitality industry if that's, if that's what you're interested in doing. So uh, we offer externships. That's the primary way for, for, uh, for freshmen to get involved with us or summer internships, okay? So either avenue you can begin to pursue with us. Same with the sophomores, we have internships that we offer. Um, we also come back for the career fair and are talking to you, uh, what was it February I think we did the career fair here, right? So we were talking to you then about, uh, about opportunities. Uh, most, most of you that are interested in uh, internships, right? Uh, we have formal internships that we offer through our corporate office where we send you out to, uh, to our properties and I'll talk a little bit more in detail about those. But the other way for you to get involved is just reach out to a hotel that's in your particular geographic area of preference and get your foot in the door that way. It might be a franchise hotel, it might be a managed hotel, right? We have, we have hotels everywhere, but not all of them are managed as Dean talked about earlier. But right now it's about just getting in and getting yourself familiar with the brand and getting the experience, right? Because we all know that you guys need that thousand hours, right? So then when you're a junior, internships uh, as well. Um, and uh, we will start uh, doing some other engagement activities with you, and then we're interviewing you here on campus for a number of different opportunities uh, when, you are, when you are a senior. So just different ways that, uh, that you can get involved with our company as you're progressing through your college career. 
So let's talk about some of th those in more details. We talked about the externship, right? So this is a one-week program that we offer, you know, the freshmen, the sophomores. If you want to go and, and get involved with our company for a week instead of traveling to Bora Bora on your spring break, right, or going to Cabo or wherever you might, the students of Poland might be going these days. I know it's always south out of the cold temperatures and into the warmer climate. But uh, this is an opportunity for you to go get your foot in the door with us. Uh, around the nation, we would expose you to disciplines either in food and beverage, front office, or housekeeping. And this gives you a little overview of what that experience is. Right? So you're a team member by, the day, by day. You would be shadowing, partnered with a, with a member on the team there, uh, and living at the hotel. All right? So that is, uh, that's the uh, externship. Then we have a 10-week internship program. And again, you can do these through our corporate offices or you can do them by reaching out and contacting the hotel directly, okay? But, uh, but our formal programs are, is a 10-week program running through June, or from June to August, right? We know that you get out early here, but also go back to school early. Um, and we can expose you to these different disciplines, right? So event services, finance, food and beverage, front office, HR, housekeeping, revenue management, sales marketing. Um, and it, just kind of gives you a quick little overview. We also do corporate internships. So these are out at the properties around the country. These are corporate uh, internships that we offer either in our McLean office, right, which is our main headquarters, or we have uh, satellite offices in Dallas and Memphis. All right. Many of you have interest in the management training program. When you're talking to companies that come here and do previews, they're probably talking about their management training program. So I want to spend a little time talking about this, but again, this is only one way of getting your foot in the door. This is extremely competitive. We, uh, we interview at, at campuses all around, uh, uh, all around the country for about 75 people, okay? And we are at all of the uh, primary hospitality schools, fortunately WSU being one of those key schools, right? Uh, but 75 opportunities, not a whole lot, right? So very, very competitive. So that's why I want to stress these other opportunities in terms of direct placement, just so that you know, if Hilton is where you want to be, we can find you a home, okay? So requirements for the MDP program, uh, bachelor's degree graduating in the fall of 2017, or so a December grad or next spring. Uh, GPA of 3.0. Uh, we're looking for you to have work experience. That's usually not an issue because of the 1,000-hour requirement that you guys all have. So um, you need to be willing, to, uh, willing and able to relocate. Okay? We will put you at a training hotel somewhere in the country. We try to match it up with your geographic preference, but we can't always make that happen. So the more flexible you are geographically, the better off we are. Um, need to speak and read and write English fluently, and you need to be able to work in the US. We'll be back here on October 9th to do interviews. So following this preview, you can go and sign up for, for interviews if Hilton is of interest to you. And we would love the opportunity to talk to you about joining our MDP program. Uh, during that time, you'll have two 30-minute interviews. Um, there'll be two of us here. You'll go and meet with them, spend 30 minutes with, uh, with one person, and then 30 minutes with another, and, and then you'll be done. Then we follow that up by inviting all of our, uh, our, our candidates back for a, uh, or all of our uh, top candidates back for an interview weekend that we host in Orlando this year. You would come out, interview with general managers from around our country uh, for the weekend. Uh, and of course, you're competing against similar students from all of the hospitality schools around the country that we recruit at. And then from there, we uh, make uh, decisions. So it's kind of like draft day. Uh, but, for, uh, but for students, right? But it's, it's a lot of fun, right? And you guys can speak to it, so you know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun for the, a little stressful maybe, but it's still very fun. But for those of us that are there doing the selection, it's, 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 it's great. Our management training program is a six month training program. You'll spend two months in the, in the training program rotating, visiting all areas of the hotel outside of your area of interest. So if you're a sales and marketing person, that's great. You won't see sales and marketing typically until after two months with us. You will go and spend time in the front office, food and beverage, all the other disciplines, so that you get an understanding of how the entire team works together as one. Then you will spend four months concentrated in the sales and marketing arena. 
When you're done with your six-month training program, we will place you into an entry-level management uh, program, or not program, into an entry-level management position, either at the same hotel that you trained at or at another hotel of your interest geographically. Okay? We can't guarantee you that at that time that you graduate from the program, there will be an opening for you to slide into at your training hotel. So sometimes the timing works out very well. Other times we work with you to, to move to another hotel. Okay? And it gives you a quick little overview of the main departments where we, where we do it, uh, placements for MDP. When you come and talk to us in two weeks about uh, your interest in Hilton, you need to know what discipline you are pursuing. Right? So when I ask you what discipline are you interested in, don't tell me I don't know because you've had four years to kind of figure that out. That's, kind of the, that's why you do the internships. And you're competing against other people for that discipline. Right? So if your interest is in sales and marketing, you're competing against other students for sales and marketing. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. And this is how most people get placed with us, right? And that's just the old-fashioned way of coming to work for a company. Right? We, call it, we, we refer to it as direct placement. So you find a hotel you're interested in working at, you find our jobs on, online, and you apply. Okay. I am more than happy to help you with that process because you're kooks. Okay, so we, I, sorry guys, I'm just a little, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a little uh, it's a little extra benefit they get, right? So uh, if, if MDP doesn't work out for you but you're still interested in Hilton or you're interested in finding an internship or whatever the case may be, I will partner with you to help, help make that happen the best that I can, right? But we place people in line level roles uh, all over the hotel, uh, and all over the country, supervisory roles and assistant managers. And I've flagged this with a little footnote. We are opening up a brand new hotel in downtown Seattle in Embassy Suites Pioneer Square. Um, yeah, it's going to yeah. be exciting. Um, we are scheduled to open around February 1st. So any of you seniors, raise your hand if you're a December grad. Okay? So if you are a December grad and Seattle market is of interest to you, and Hilton is of interest to you, then we should talk because we're going to be hiring for starting probably December or January many assistant level manager positions, entry role positions for that hotel. We've got to get it open. We've got to get it staffed in order to get it open. Okay? So if that is of interest to you, let us know. We've not had a big presence in downtown Seattle. So uh, we have a small Homewood Suites that we manage there. There's lots of franchises in the Bellevue and surrounding area, but we don't have any big managed hotels in downtown Seattle. So it's nice to finally come and talk to people from here, because many of you I know are from Seattle and want to go back to Seattle. And the closest we could ever get to downtown is where these three gentlemen are, is that out at the airport. So now we've got a much bigger presence uh, right downtown. Corporate level, uh, entry level positions also that are available through direct placement. and. Uh, Right? Lots of ways to go find us online to find uh, 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 how, to, how to apply. We also have some other programs. So analysts, for those of you uh, with an analyst uh, interest, we have a rotational analyst program out of McLean, Virginia that you can apply for. We have a revenue management specialist role in Dallas, Texas. And we have an accounting analyst position in Memphis, right? or opportunities in Memphis. So if any of those spark your interest, Please, uh, please pursue those as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about working at, uh, at Hilton. Um, very important to us that we ma maintain a very competitive uh, uh, compensation package for our team members. And we have probably one of the better benefit offerings uh, in the hospitality industry uh, today. I couldn't always stand up here and say that. Today I can't. Um, so coming to work for us, you have a, a very wide spectrum of, uh, of benefits that are available to you as a team member. Outside of our health and welfare uh, benefits, this is probably one of our most popular benefits. That's the Go Hilton program. That allows you to travel, see the world, stay at any Hilton hotel for anywhere from $35 to $75 a night. Right? So those aren't rates you can find when you go uh, online looking for a hotel room. So very, very popular benefit of, for our team members. Hilton University, that is our, uh, that's through our uh, website called The Lobby, but that is, is just full of development resources for you. So 
whatever it is that you might want to be learning in terms of computer skills or leadership skills or how to be a first-time supervisor or whatever the case may be, we offer all of these training programs free of charge to any one of our team members. And that's through our Hilton University. We place a great deal of emphasis on team member recognition uh, at all of our hotels and throughout the, the corporate level as well. And uh, Thrive at Hilton is kind of a new philosophy, part of our, our, our cultural change. And, uh, and that's keeping in mind engaging with our team members through body, mind, and spirit. So you'll hear more and more at Hilton in the future about, about Thrive and, and how we do that. It's about working smart, work-life balance, making sure that uh, in the hospitality industry, those of you that have been working can understand it can consume you. Right? And we place at our company a great deal of emphasis on that balance. So we want you to have your days off. We don't want you checking those, uh, those phones on a regular basis like we all do. Um, and and it's, it's trying to, to teach and train our managers <laughs> to, uh, to just think about how people do things differently. I have a, a hotel, the Hilton San Francisco, actually, right? Um, they have implemented uh, no, no email Fridays. So they don't send emails in-house to each other on Friday. So you want to communicate with someone, it forces you to get up out of your chair, get out of your office, and go talk to your colleague face-to-face, -face, right? That's the way we only used to do it in the old days, right? Now, now you don't eat that, 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 no one even thinks of that. So uh, those are just different things that we're doing to, uh, to help drive this body, mind, and spirit to change at our company. Dean, I think I'm going to have you uh, Talk a little bit about these, right? Great. Uh, so most of you are millennials. Actually, all of you are, I guess, by definition. But uh, as a company, we've evolved. So we're a company that's been around for almost 100 years, but we've continued to evolve and tried to make Hilton a great place for everyone to work. So we've got lots of different generations. We are a very inclusive company. And uh, we've, I just want to hit on a couple, of these things, uh, a couple of these key things, the exciting global opportunities we actually are a company that is global. So if you want to work in other places, we offer that. We offer the ability to, to, to move and to manage and to, to grow in your career, not only around the United States, but also globally. We've got tons of development, as John was saying, in the Hilton University. Lots and lots of courses available. <clears throat> We've got uh, uh, innovation happening with Hilton. And a lot of that innovation happens at the hotel level. It doesn't always happen at the corporate level and get pushed down to the hotels. It happens at the hotel level and gets pushed up. So we're looking for people who want to be creative and who want to uh, want to push the uh, push the envelope, push things forward. John mentioned the worldwide travel perks. Um, I'm going to leave you with a couple of thoughts, but one of them is get out and see the world, see the country. It doesn't matter. You're going to stay in some great places and see a lot of really neat things. And uh, um, John mentioned the industry leading benefits health benefits, travel benefits, uh, paternity leave, maternity leave. We've got a package of benefits, and let me tell you, it's expensive. For a guy managing a hotel, John keeps on heaping on the benefits. We're the ones that, it does cost money, but it's awesome for our team members. So they don't have to worry as much about the things that, uh, that, that people who you know, have thin insurance programs and uh, maybe don't have quite as many. We have, in fact, uh, you hear a lot about people getting paid time off. We've got a really, really generous paid time off program. And uh, it really, it helps people and it, it ties right into that thrive, body, mind, and spirit of giving people the opportunity to take some time off to recharge and to, uh, to have some work-life balance. So and again, meaningful work. Uh, we focus a lot both in what we do professionally and also what we do, uh, just it, the spirit of working together as a, as a team and as a, uh, as a uh, group of individuals. We really take that seriously. So. It's a great company to work for. It, it doesn't matter um, whether you're you know, a millennial just coming into the workforce or you've been around a little bit longer like John and I have been. It really does offer uh, something for every, every age group, tons of opportunity for upward mobility. And again, if you want to relocate, that's awesome. I've got people that work for, for me up in, uh, in Spokane that have been there for years. They like being there. They want to be in Spokane. They're doing awesome. They can stay there. But if you want to continue to grow and move around, you can do that too. So let's go to the next. These are just some of the awards that we've won. Uh, we're not going to go through all of them, but you get an idea. It's a big cross section. I was joking earlier, but uh, you know, you've got five guys up here. Uh, um, we're, we're not a company that is heavily, um, heavily weighted towards white guys. We've got <laughs> lots of women. 
We've got to, we're very inclusive. and We are a company, when you look at our website, John mentioned the lobby, we have got people, in fact, I just showed, John, you'd be happy, we just showed the, uh, the, the uh, um, CEO Light and Warmth winners, we showed the video today at our executive committee meeting. People from different brands, different cultures around the globe. One guy from China who uh, doesn't speak, he's deaf, he signs, he's training all the people there. Awesome, really, really a great company to work for. So you can see some of the, uh, the recognition we've gotten from, uh, from many different organizations. And then social media, second homework assignment is follow us on social media. So we've got a lot of different, uh, lot of different Facebook presence, Instagram presence, follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow our CEO, Chris Nacetta. He's always got really cool things to say, give you a lot of insight. So not only sign up for honors, but also follow, uh, follow us on, uh, on these different, uh, different social media handles. Last slide I want to show here before we get into questions is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we come back to WSU on a regular basis as one of our, our, our primary campuses around the country uh, that we recruit at. And some of you might mention, uh, recognize a few of these names, but these are people that, have, that have, uh, we've pulled out of here the last couple of years. So Nicole, uh, she was a, a business ma uh, management major in accounting, so not a hospitality major, but she's now the assistant director Right, we pulled her out last year. She's now the assistant director of finance at the DoubleTree uh, San Diego Mission Valley. Okay, uh, Ben Walters uh, came out of here last year, who's now in a, a sales manager at the Hilton San Francisco. He also trained at the Hilton San Francisco. Um, Isaiah, uh, last year's class, right, who's down with us doing his training right now at the uh, San Diego Bayfront. Uh, uh, Kara Carpenter at the Hilton Minneapolis and uh, Rachel Baxson at, out at the Doubletree Santa Barbara. So just a, a handful of uh, recent alums that, uh, that are working with us uh, out, uh, in the, you know, out, out in the hotels throughout the country. I share that with you also because whether you recognize these people or if you want to talk to someone that was in your shoes last year, send them an email. Reach out to them and just say, hey, the nice thing about being a coog is once a coog, always a coog, right? You guys know it, right? You see it, you walk down the street, someone's wearing a coog hat, jersey, whatever, you just say, go coogs. You don't know them, right? It's who we are. We're family, right? These are part of, of the coog family. They're also part of our Hilton family. Send them an email. Their email addresses, all of our email addresses at Hilton are very basic. First name, dot last name, at hilton.com, okay? Send them an email and just say, hey, I'm a fellow Coug. I was talking to those old guys that came and talked to us at our company <laughs> preview the other night. They were telling us some stuff about Hilton. Tell me about your experience. They'll, tell, they'll be straight shooters with you, right? So they don't know I'm volunteering them right now, so I'm going to have to go back and, and you send them emails. Take your the, phone. <laughs> Now's the time to take your phone off. You want to take a picture of their names and uh, make sure you get all that. All right. Or email me and I'll send you their yeah. names or I'll send you names of general managers that are coogs that are working in our company or guys that are in charge of brand uh, these days, all kinds of stuff. We've got coogs scattered all over our company. I'm happy to put you in touch with some if you want another opinion. Okay? That's why I share this slide with you. Can I turn this? I see some people jotting down some names. You okay? All right. I'll go back and you can take pictures. of. Actually, I'll leave it up because the next one is really about answering questions that you have. So of Dean and I, or these three gentlemen that are in the program today over in Seattle, what kind of questions do you have that we can answer for all of you? Yeah? What kind of compensation do you have for you guys visiting the uh, We offer a, uh, a, small, uh, a small relocation package initially, and then once you're on board with us and you move from hotel to hotel, we have a, a very generous relocation package to, to help you move from hotel to hotel. When you're in a management role, we ask that your first commitment be, uh, or any, any commitment to a hotel, be one year before we up and move you again, uh, especially as you get older and settle down and buying and selling homes and all of that is part of relocation. That can get very expensive, right? So we ask that people, well, just sit, sit still and do a little work for the hotel we just transferred you to before we pull you out again. Right, but uh, but we will give you we will give you some relocation assistance to get from Pullman or wherever home is these days to your first assignment. Okay. And we realize it. Uh, John and I have both been through this many many times. Um, you know, it's hard enough to move. 
great creates great opportunity, but as a company, we need to support that so we can get our best people into a uh, upward trajectory with their career path. Generous, given that you're probably going to be making more money than you ever have. See, $50 goes a long yeah. ways these days. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Good question. What else? Yeah. So, your question are there any opportunities to do an internship abroad? Like, can you think about it all that much? Those get a little more difficult. Right, especially, I mean, there's just like it's difficult for international people to come here and work here because of the visa regulations. Going, going the, the opposite way is the same thing. So, that, but if, 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 it's, if it's an easy thing, then, then those opportunities are much easier. Okay. Yeah, good question. We do not provide housing, so it is uh, it is on your own. So we will try to uh, match you up in a geographic area where you might have, it might be your home city, it might be a place where you have relatives or friends that you can, right? And then for the externship, um, how much money is that? Like, do you guys pay for the flights to wherever you go, or do you do that, and like, do you pay for the hotel room that you're staying at? You don't pay for the hotel room that you're staying at. Getting to the hotel, that's a good question. I don't know that off the top of my head, so I can find out an answer to that. But, uh, but no, there's, you're, you're not earning any pay while you're there because you're there shadowing a, a team member, but you're living in the hotel for a week and you're eating in our restaurant and doing that kind of stuff. So, right? And it, it, you know, you're giving up your spring break, you're giving up a week, right? But it's a great experience to see you know, the insides of a hotel and experience that. I would, go ahead. I was going to say, probably the, the three biggest things I would leave you with, depending on, or regardless of what, uh, what, you know, where you're at in this process, the first is really try to work in a, I know you have to work in hotels and do internships, but try to start with your, your career in a hotel because it's really a great place to learn. And what you're going to learn from other people and people in other departments is awesome. And you're going to take that experience with you and, and be able to leverage that when you go on in your career. Second thing is don't worry. As John said, John was in what was the HPDP program, I think, at the time. Yep. Now the MDP program. I was a direct hire. Um, it doesn't really matter. You know, we're both here 30 some odd years later, and a uh, great company to work for. It. Uh, I think I got paid $500 more than the MDP or the trainee people did, and then they caught up after the first year. So it was it, anyway. It's it's not a big uh, not a big difference. Um, so definitely. And then the third thing is. Um, if you're open to relocating, you are going to learn so much by working in different sizes of hotels in different geographic areas. Take advantage of that. It is, I mean, you're young, um, you know, there'll be plenty of time to settle down later, but it really will round out your career. And as a company, it's, Hilton can offer so much opportunity to, uh, to see different places, to work in different environments, and to, to work for different types of hotels. And it really, it's, it's fun. I mean, it might seem scary, it might seem a little bit crazy, but it really is, it's awesome. Um, also, the benefits, you're talking about the relocation. We also get a signing bonus that it's been really nice. So, Oh, don't tell them that. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we don't get a signing bonus. <laughs> but um, I think the resources and the people have been the coolest thing so far, at, at least in my personal experience. Um, for me, the coolest thing has been the fact that when you get into the MDP program and you start your trainings, uh, people in management level positions at these properties that you're going to are aware of what it is that you're doing. So. Um, you're going through all these different departments. For me, like I'd never worked in a lot of the departments that we were working in, so didn't really know what to expect, but people come in with that expectation. All right, this is an MDP. They w have got to the, this level within the program, within the company already, so um, they kind of threw us into the fire, which I think is kind of the best way to learn with that kind of stuff. Um, so I guess to sum it up, it's, it's that the people that you're working for at these property levels where you're doing your training really trust that you can catch up, you know, you can learn what you need to do and, and take on the responsibility that you want to take on. Uh, and then for me, it's probably having these two right down the street for me and then just being so close. 
uh, with everybody that else is doing the MDP program. You know, if we ever have any questions about, hey, what are you guys doing at your property? We just ask them and they're probably doing the exact same thing or something better that we can do at our property. Uh, and then my property, I've had one recent MDP alum and then she went to another hotel in Florida. So I was, I've just been able to ask any questions that I've had uh, to her and she's been able to answer anything and everything of them. But just being able to do all the jobs to the highest potential that we can is probably the best learning experience so far. And here, I thought you were going to say it was your partnership with your mentor, but boy, <laughs> missed that opportunity, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> what else, guys? Good questions. Keep going. Yes. We don't do a lot of culinary positions through the MDT, MDP program, but we do a lot of them through direct placement. Absolutely. What year are you again? Freshman? Okay. No, you got some time. Yeah. That's great. But go get that experience now, right? Whether it be in fast food, or not fast food restaurants, but restaurants or it, it hotels can, or whatever. But get that experience now. And it can be fast food even. Just to get your foot in the door, it's better to you know, graduate up from that. But you know, I can tell you, we run two restaurants in Spokane. One of them is Spencer's for Steaks and Chops. And I mean, these are people cooking, you know, $65 steaks, but we've got to hire, we hire people out of the local culinary school. We hire people that have had all different kinds of experience. So it's, it's, and the good news, by the way, if you want to be on the culinary side, doing it in a hotel means you get all those benefits that John was showing you, the travel benefits, the health and, you know, all the other good benefits. If you go to work for a, a restaurant, freestanding restaurant, or even part of a restaurant chain, you're probably not going to get that level of benefits. So yeah, very good point. Yeah, keep going. Okay. You can contact him. You can go through me since that's one of my hotels. I'm happy to assist you. And we need labor in Park City during the summertime. So <laughs> I, I right? we need labor in Park City all the time, right? So, uh, so yeah, just, just let me know how I can help. We have a question from a Global Campus student. John asks, in order to apply for the MDB, or sorry, MDP program, a bachelor's degree is required. Does it have to be a business or hospitality major? I'm a psychology major, for example. No, it does not. That psychology does major could come in handy in a hotel <laughs> environment. You never know. All right, yeah. Who, who do you want to ask that question to? How about the three? I know. I mean, I. So I started as a busser, and so that's the only experience I had in high school was a busser. And then I applied at Hilton, and they recognized that I had little to no experience, but they took a chance on me. And I think the biggest word, or the biggest thing that I could tell you is empowerment. They let you feel, they trust you to do things. It's not like I won't name other companies that I've worked for, but looking down your back all the time. They really do trust you and empower you to, let's say at the front desk, guest gets mad. You can go ahead and comp a, a dinner or something or a glass of wine or something. It doesn't matter. Your manager will come up to you afterwards and they'll say, great job handling that. If you could have done something better, they'll tell you that. Or if, you could, if it was perfect, they will let you know and they'll reward you for it. So they really empower you. And I've never worked for another company before that really makes you feel kind of special. And when you handle a situation that seems kind of normal, they kind of go above and beyond to tell you that you did a great job. So out of, I've worked for Hilton for like two and a half years and I've never felt like I've left feeling down or anything because my managers make sure that I'm okay. They empower me to do things that I normally wouldn't think to do. Uh, they're just a great company overall to make you feel like you are valued. Um, yeah, for me it was, um, I hadn't worked for Hilton before. Um, I didn't anticipate going to working for a large hospitality company. Um, I have long-term goals of owning my own surf resort. So um, I kind of looked at things in the realistic sense that once I did get the initial interview for the MDB program and then fl we had the interview in Orlando this last year as well, um, got a really kind of broad scope for the knowledge base that you can gather in a large company like this to be able to, you know, 
I'm talking 30 years, 40 years down the road when eventually I want to do my own thing. But um, it, it's a really, really great learning opportunity. I mean, I know it's hard to kind of like look at things in the sense of like, I've just completed four years of school. But for me, I'm in a program that's another year and a half, two, three to, you know, however long it's going to be another four or five years of schooling is how I'm looking at it as a way to get myself prepared to do what I really want to do in the long run. And then for me, I've wanted to work in hotels for a while growing up watching Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, my buddies and then my best friend's dad uh, works for Hilton Corporate, uh, Mr. Hothauser. Uh, he's uh, always he's always stationed in D.C. I asked him, hey, uh, how can I do an internship? He sent me the email to apply to, long story short, that it helped me lead to getting to two internships and then successfully being able to do the MDP program. Uh, but it's, as I said, great company and just it's just something I've always wanted to do and the fact that I'm here two years later and hopefully years to come uh, is awesome. Any last questions? That's a great question, um, and, and I think that's an extremely important one because, uh, frankly, I, I don't want to work for a company that doesn't share the same values that, that, that I have, right? So, um, first of all, you know, with hospitality being the, the biggest one, you guys have learned as you've studied this field, you have to have hospitality in your DNA in order to be successful in this business, right? It's just who we are and what we do. And if you can't, don't enjoy servicing people, this isn't the field for you, right? Uh, again, I wasn't a hospitality major, but I quickly found in the hospitality industry that I have that service, that hospitality DNA, right? So that's an important value to me. Integrity is very important to me. Um, I know that I'm working with a company that will always do the right thing, and that's, that's important to me. So that's, that, that's just a couple that stand out for me. Yeah, it really, it's, it's nice, nice to be able to go to work for a company and go to work in a job where you feel like, I mean, my job as the general manager of a hotel, I have to support my team members, and I love that. I love giving them, you know, using the empowerment. We have a program called Make It Right. We want to challenge them to find ways to make the guests happy, even when something goes wrong. So I leave work at the end of the day. I'm not exhausted. Sometimes I'm tired, but... You know, we've done something good, so you don't, you're, we're not, you know, we're, we're taking care of the environment, we're taking care of our guests. You can leave at the end of the day knowing that you've done something good for the team members, good for the guests, and, and oftentimes, you know, we do these projects good for the community. So I love it because it's, uh, you don't ever feel conflicted about what you're doing. You're, you're, you're trying to make people happy. Yes. Who asks, as someone with a management experience, what would the perks of M of the MDP program be versus direct placement? So this person already has managerial experience. Yeah, if you're coming to us uh, with with previous management experience, I would encourage you to pursue a direct placement opportunity. Uh, the MDP program will give you exposure to the different operations with the hotel, expose you to uh, basic leadership principles uh, and practices. But if you're if you've already got that through your work experience, I would, I would strongly encourage you to go the direct placement route. So thank you for that question. Well, listen, thank you all for your, uh, for your time this evening. I hope, uh, I hope we've answered some of your questions and given you a look into what, uh, what Hilton Worldwide is and what we're all about and a little bit about our culture and, uh, and the people that help make up, uh, make up our company. Um, I, I am available, my card is up here, I am available to any of you at any time to put you in touch with the right people or help you get your foot in the door somewhere or get you up the street to Spokane because you want to do a site visit or what, whatever may be of interest to you, let us know and we will help you do that, okay? I don't say that to the UNLV folks or the San Diego State <laughs> folks, but uh, hey, hey, hey. But uh, I, I do do that for, for, our, for our fellow Cougs. So thank you again for your time this evening, and uh, go Cougs on Friday, huh? All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Right. Good job, guys.